It's your girl Young Oprah here again to give you the latest in the entertainment world. Congolese rumble star Kofi Olomide is in the news for allegedly kicking one of his female dancers, according to Kenyan media outlets. This video was recorded at Kenya's Jomo Kenyatta International Airport, where police can be seen trying to intervene, and this video has gone viral. Kofi Olomide is currently in Kenya for a scheduled performance in Nairobi this weekend, and some reports have stated that Kofi kicked the dancer because she allegedly slapped his wife after a disagreement. Sahara TV has not independently confirmed if this was the reason that the dancer was allegedly kicked. However, in response to all the online commotion, Kofi put out a video on his Facebook page stating that what we've seen in this video isn't quite what happened. Kofi invited one of his dancers to explain what happened at the airport. And singer Cindy Liquor, who is part of Kofi Olomide's band, Cotier Latin International, came to his defense as well. This is not the first time that Kofi has been accused of assaulting one of his colleagues. In 2012, he was given a three-month suspended prison sentence in the DRC for assaulting one of the producers, Diego Lumbaki, over a $3,700 debt. Some Kenyans are calling for Kofi to be deported and arrested. Some even stating that Kofi would never assault someone if he was in London's Heathrow Airport or Francis Charles de Gaulle. In other news, in Nigeria, fans of Token Makinwa are lashing out at her after she posted this photo on her Instagram this week. She titled the post, Bold, Bare, Strong, Sexy, Power, Free. <laughs> Do you think that this photo is too exposed, as some of her fans believe? And in terms of Kofi, should he get arrested? Let us know what you think. Comment below and don't forget to click like and subscribe at the end of this video. Cheers. Growing up in Kenya, my sister and I were very close. But like any sisters, we fought a lot. She always got new clothes and I always got hand-me-downs. Now she's putting her children through school in Kenya. We still fight sometimes, especially when I send money for the kids. I tell her, buy some clothes for the younger one, and we both laugh. With nearly 500,000 locations, our app and online, this is moving money for better. 